Hey guys, in this section we're working on simplifying expressions and I'm going to start with a little review of operations just with basic sign numbers. So 2 plus 5, okay, that one's 7, we probably got that. Um, sometimes people have a little trouble with the negative signs though, so let me just kind of remind you how that works on here. 2 plus negative 5, so I'm going to start at 0, go up to 2, and then go back, go to the left, negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're at negative 3. <laughs> We do negative 2 plus 5, so we're just kind of running through all the sign combinations. So negative 2, we start at 0, go to negative 2, and then we come back positive 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're positive 3. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see this one, negative 2 plus negative 5. So we're at 0, going to negative 2, and then we're going to add to that another negative 5, and we're at negative 7. Uh, one way that I think about this is money. So if you don't like the number line, here's another way. If you think if you got two dollars and five dollars, you got seven dollars. Here, if you think you got two dollars, you owe someone five dollars. Somewhere you got to come up with three bucks. You're in the hole. If you owe someone two dollars and you have five, you're still going to have three afterwards. If you owe someone two bucks and you owe someone else five bucks, you owe them all together seven dollars. So number line, that's kind of one way of looking at it. Um, and then. Like I said, I like thinking of money. It makes more sense to my brain that way. Let me run through the subtraction ones. So 2 minus 5, we're coming out to 2, going backwards 5. So it's the same as this. It's just written in a different form. And that's because uh, with subtraction, you can always rewrite it as the opposite. Um, so adding the opposite is the same as subtracting. So these are the same thing. So with this one, uh, minus minus, so the opposite of a negative is a positive. So this one, it's a really good idea to rewrite it because then you can just see it's 2 plus 5. So that's just 7. Down 2, down another 5. So we're going 2 in the hole and then another 5 in the hole. So that's a negative 7. So this is just like this one, negative 2 plus negative 5. Same problem. And here, again with the double negative. So 2 plus 5. Down 2, back up 5. Gets us to 3. And then multiplication division, pretty friendly. So uh, 2 times 6, obviously, that's going to be 12. But the important thing is two positives multiplied with positive. Here I have mixed signs. So I have a negative and a positive. So that's going to be a negative 12. And it doesn't matter which one it's on, if you have one positive, one negative, or an odd number of negative signs, actually, it's going to be a negative. And then negative 2 times negative 6, a negative times negative is a positive. So that gets us back to positive 12. So anytime you have an odd number of signs with multiplication or division, it'll be a negative. An even number of signs is going to come out a positive. And then just to run down the division ones, 6 over 2 is 3. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. 6 over negative 2, still negative 3 because one negative sign. Double negative here would be, um, sorry, positive. So that makes this plus 3. So this next page, we're using those same ideas, but a little bit more complicated problems. It'll include some order of operations. If you check the class notes, um, I have all the PEMDAS rules there. Here, I'll just kind of talk through them. So PEMDAS, we got, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, you may have heard it either way. And it goes parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, left to right, addition, subtraction, left to right. Uh, again, you can look those up in the course pack. So let me show how that would look here. Um, we want to do inside of parentheses first, so 5 plus 4, and then negative 2 plus 5, that's going to make a 3 right there. And then multiplication division, we go ahead and go PEMDAS, we'll do that. So we did our parentheses and multiplication division, so we do our multiply first, 5 plus 12, and then our addition last, we get 17. <coughs> This one, we have negative 3, and we'll do inside our parentheses. So negative 5 plus 9 is going to give us a 4 right here. And you can see how much these sign numbers just show up everywhere, so you just you got to get comfortable with them. Uh, 2 minus 5, that's going to give me a negative 3. So here, the negative 3 and 4 are multiplying, so that's going to give me a negative 12. This is that minus minus, so minus minus makes plus 3 and we end up with 9. Uh, this one, so 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is 20. 
but then it's one, two, three negative signs, so that makes it negative 20. Again, if we have an odd number of negative signs, negative, even number of negative signs would make a positive. And this example, we get some exponents here. And ooh, this is a little bit tricky in here. So this, let me do this off to the side. Negative four quantity squared. So that means negative four times negative four. So see how there's two negative signs? So that's gonna be a positive 16 when we evaluate it. So this will be three times 16 minus two. This is gonna be negative three times negative three. So that'll be a positive nine. And now I can do my multiply because I, I did my exponents where it multiply. Three times 16 is 48 minus two times nine is 18. And so that should be 30. So this next round of problems, if you're taking a lecture class, is where I'd have the class then try these four. So they're going to be kind of similar to the ones I just did, maybe with a little variation. Um, so this first one, we got three, negative four plus six. That gives me a two in there. And again, we're doing PEMDAS. And these two, it's left to right. So it's not the multiply beats divide. You just start on the left, work to the right. So five and then negative one plus three, that's gonna give me a two. And then three times two is six. Five times two is gonna be 10. And then finally we get to add down there and get 16. Uh, here we got one, two, three, four signs. So that means it's gonna be a positive number. So I wanna like keep flipping the sign back and forth. Just count them and figure out what it's gonna be. Uh, two times two is four, times three is 12, and then times four should be 48. It's positive. So we get exponents again. So we'll go two, five squared is gonna be times 25, and then four times three squared is gonna be nine. We do our multiply, and then finally our subtract. So 50 minus 36, that'd be a 14. And let's see, this last one here, pretty similar to that, six, uh, four minus nine is gonna give me a negative five, minus two minus seven is gonna give me another negative five, a little bit trickier on the signs. So six times negative five is negative 30. Minus the negative five is gonna change that to a plus five. And then down 30 and then back up five should be 25. Sorry, negative 25. Okay, so the next round of problems we get a little bit more algebraic, so we're getting some variables in there. Uh, the deal with these is like terms go together. So if I have X's and numbers, I put my X's together and my numbers together. So here, 7X minus 5X. So just saying I have 7 is something minus 5 is something, and that's going to leave me two of those somethings. Uh, plus 4 plus 9, so that'd be plus 13. And so that'd be simplified. <coughs> when we're doing um, the next upcoming sections, we'll have equal signs, and there'll be something on the other side. That's going to be a solve. That's where we're trying to actually get x equals some number. But for simplified problems, there's no equals. All we can do is get it down to as small as a chunk of math as possible. Uh, number 11 here. So we want to do our multiply, clear these parentheses. So we'd have 10, negative 2 times 2. So that's going to make negative 4 and x. And then careful with this. This is the sign that everyone messes up. So negative two times negative three, that's gonna change that to a positive six. And then we gather up our x's and our numbers. So here I have a negative four x. We usually do the x's first, it's called descending order. And then 10 plus six is gonna make 16. Uh, this one, we'll do a little distribute to get rid of those parentheses. So, and this thing, this minus in front, we wanna think of that as like a little invisible negative one. And so what it's gonna do is just change the signs on everything inside those parentheses. So six times two, uh, two x will give us 12 x. Six times negative one, negative six. And then negative one times three x, so negative three x. Negative one times one, negative one. So you can see it just 
flip-flops the signs on whatever's inside. And then looking for like terms, I have 12x's here, minus 3x's there. So that's 9x. And then minus 6 minus another 1. So down 6, down another 1 is minus 7. And these next four, again, in a lecture class would be ones that have you try. So we would go here, we're going to distribute. So again, clear parentheses first and collect terms. So 4 times 2 is going to give me 8x. 4 times negative 3, negative 12, minus 7. Uh, that's it for the x's. Oops, straighten back out. So 8x. And then down 12, down another 7 would be down 19. And no more like terms, so that's how I know I'm done. Here, there's that little invisible negative 1. So we'll go negative 14. And then this distributes through. It's just going to flip-flop the signs. So now that's a minus 4 and a plus 2x and a plus 5x. So again, we kind of like our x is first. So I'll go 2x and 5x for 7x. Down 14, down another 4. So we're going farther in the hole. So that'll be minus 18. 15. Um, just a little trick with that little negative 1. Uh, these parentheses aren't actually doing anything, so we can just drop those. But this, because of that negative sign, I have to get the negative distributed. So I'll make a minus 5x and a minus 8. And then here I can put those together. 2 minus 5 is going to make a negative 3x plus 1 and minus 8. So I'll be minus 7. And then here clear so negative 7x that'll be plus 14 minus 6x minus 10 and then gather up our x's so down 7 down 6 so farther in the hole so that is negative 13x we're going up 14 and then back down 10 so that should leave us at plus 4 these last few examples are evaluating expressions. So evaluate the following expressions when x is 2. So they're just saying let x equal 2. And we're just going to take that and plug it in for the x and then see what happens. And so it's going to make an, a, an expression kind of similar to the ones we we're working on in the beginning of the section. So here we're just going to go. So I'm just taking the 2, putting it in for that x. I got negative 10 minus 7. So down 10, down another 7. I should get negative 17. Uh, here, again, just put the 2 in. So that will make a 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 16. And then just kind of do out using our, our PEMDAS that we looked at earlier. So 2 squared makes 4. And then 8 times 2 is a minus 16. And then plus 16, so minus 16 plus 16, that's gone. And I just get 4. And then this last one over here, x equals 2. I'll scoot it this way. So 2 minus 4 quantity squared. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 squared. And remember, this is negative 2 times negative 2. That's what that squared means. Just multiply it that many times. So we got a pair of negatives. And that's going to flip that to a positive 4. And last one is, uh, again, just evaluating an expression. This ends up being something you do a lot. It's the um, in the quadratic formula. We'll see it in 95. So we got b squared minus 4ac. So we put negative 5 quantity squared. That's our b. a is 3. Toss that in. c is 2. We'll toss that in. So let me just clean this up. So negative 5 times negative 5. Again, with the double negatives, that's going to make a positive 25 right there. And 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 would make 24. And 25 minus 24 will make 1. And that concludes simplifying expressions.